everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost. Are you ready for an easy no-sew project today that's a lot of fun and useful? Well, let's get to it. All right, let me show you the prototype. I wanted to make a little envelope booklet that I could uh, place maybe on top of a journal or if it's not too thick, tuck inside a journal, but something to accompany the journal to possibly hold some little extra goodies. And I wanted it to be easy to function and I wanted to use some simple regular envelopes that anybody has. Any size envelope will work for this as long as you have six of the same and a strip of fabric. Um, so like just a strip of fabric like that. Okay, and then we can make this cool little guy. All right, so this little guy, he basically opens in the middle and he has pockets that are easy to get in and out um, on either side. And he has um, one set of pockets here. And in this particular one, I put some uh, butterfly uh, digital kit images. You could put anything in here, stickers, stamps, magazine pictures, quotes, poems, doesn't matter. But I just thought it was like a fun way to store stuff to maybe uh, accompany a journal, which might be fun. Okay, so then behind that one is another envelope. And this one, I made some fun little uh, Victorian calling card um, uh, distressed ones. Um, and I just decorated the back with some stencils. I put some uh, green paper on the back I had left over from a recent project. And I thought that was kind of a fun thing to tuck in there as a little surprise. And then in the very back, there's the third pocket um, here. What did I put in here? Uh, some pictures from uh, my digi kit, which is um, uh, from the children's illustrations. So you can give people variety or if you know a particular theme that somebody likes, you could tailor it to nature or Victorian or sewing or tea time or whatever, whatever you like. Um, so that's that on this side. Uh, I put in some bird pictures. Uh, I love bird images, so uh, this was an easy one for me to do, and they're easy to uh, tuck right in there. And then in the number two slot, oh, we have another bird image. I guess I didn't finish loading that one. Sorry, did I even load this one? Yes, I did. These are black and white uh, flowers. Um, so those are all for my DigiKits. I will put those links below if you're interested. But like I said, you don't have to put DigiKit stuff in there. You can put whatever you like in there. Um, I consider this a fun accessory to add to any junk journal or a simple way to uh, organize or um, store your own ephemera. The construction is very simple. How you decorate it is entirely up to you. And um, you can take as long or as little time as you want to decorate it. But let's make this and I'll show you. It's no sew, very easy. All right, okay, we'll put prototype here. Um, okay, so first of all, the first thing I did, do I have enough of this? Yeah, I think I do. Okay, I'll just use the same fabric because that's easy. And da -da -da, uh, I laid down the fabric um, facing away from me and then I took some envelopes. So count out one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six envelopes of the same size and you want to orient your pockets so they're on the outside. Okay, so that gives you a place to easily tuck in and out of. Let me get you a little more organized here. Okay. Let me pick you up just a little. You just a little. Okay. And the way I did it was I did a wrap around. Now, um, okay, so let's put all my, my things going the correct way. So start maybe. You want to, you're going to do this at the very end. So leave enough to do that and wrap around. Give yourself a little bit of extra so you don't short yourself. It's got to go around all the envelopes. Oops, sorry. And uh, then it'll open it back up. And there we know we have the right amount. So what I did was I took some, eh, there we go. Fabrifix clear silicone glue, fabric to fabric, fabric to paper, paper to paper, and eh. Okay, what I did was I took the envelope and I put um, a nice bead along here. Originally I was gonna sew it, but then I thought, ah, let me do a no-sew version. Um, sewers, feel free to sew this. I put it about in the middle, but not quite. Now the whole idea here is that you want to keep your envelopes about a good quarter inch apart because they're, that's gonna be a little mini spine in there and you don't want them bunching up too close on each other or else um, you won't have a nice uh, easy fold. You want the easy fold. Where's my, where, okay. You want easy fold. 
Okay? No fuss fuss. It, it just happens very nicely, very easily. Okay? All right. All right. Okay, got that. Good. Okay, so now let's glue this one. And try and glue them straight if you can. That would help, Pam. Glue them straight or else everything's going to be all over the place. Okay, okay. All right. There we go. That's pretty straight. In the land, pretty straight. Okay, so the biggest thing is just remember to leave the openings to the both sides, to the outside. That's what I'm trying to say. The right ones open to the right. The left ones open to the left. There you go. So you're going to have something that looks like this. Okay, now we just carry on with that same process. We do this um, three times. One, the first layer, and here's the second layer. It's pretty easy, right? We'll have this thing together in uh, two seconds. All right, put that guy down. Okay. This is more of a pocket storage than an actual book. I guess I would call it kind of a pocket booklet. If I had to call it something, that's what I would call it. All right. Oh, look at that. I got brown ink on. Here, let me just grab a clean one. Okay. But you could you'll totally work totally work that into your design, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, I'm going to show you exactly how I made this because I did all my decorating after. With forethought, you could actually ink up all your envelopes ahead of time before you put them together, and that would be easier. But I want to see how I actually created it, and um, this is what really happened. Okay, so then okay, get the outer flaps out of the way. Okay, now what we're going to do is bring this down and bring this up, and we're going to glue that. All right, so this is where we're going to bring in more Fabrifix. So we can put a bunch of fabric fix down here. Mm-hmm. Make sure you go wide enough. Okay. All right. Stage one. Flap this over. Okay. We'll deal with all the stringies later. No worries. No worries. And then pull this uh, snug, but not too tight. Okay. Just snug to keep it together. And you have to come in and glue this flap. You could actually cut a lot of this off. You don't need all this, but I'm just going to glue it because I'm here. But it's a good idea to give yourself a little bit of extra fabric just in case you don't want to be short. You can always go in there and build a bridge with fabric too if you, if you ended up being short. So don't even worry if you're short. Nothing wrong with a little short. Okay. So there we go. Basic construction is complete. So maybe work it in a little bit. Teach it where the that's going to fold. Okay. And then make sure that everything is okay. The only thing we haven't done is glue down these black back flaps. So let's go ahead and just glue those down quickly. Am I in shot? Okay. Yeah. Get that down. And then get that down. All right. So now if you go and you pull out all the flaps, make them straight so they all come together. And you're going to have to retrain these a smidge bit because um, you're folding over and on top of and that means that you have to get the outer one to agree to fold where the inner one actually folds. So that's what you're doing at this point. You're retraining. So just recrease those. Everything will be fine. You can come in there with bone folder if you want. Where are you, bone folder? Come on over here. Um, and just do one of these deals. Very easy to do. And that is your basic construction. And so that anything after this point is purely decoration. So if you want to see how I decorated this little guy, who looks like this. I'd be happy to show you that. Okay. And maybe let's, uh, um, okay, let's decorate first. Now you can use, if you didn't think ahead of time, these are, this is handy. If you have something that's a little plasticky and you want to do some inking, um, this is a good way to do it. If you slide something in there, you just want to do some of this. Okay. That's one. I'll fold that back. Probably, um, I would say the inking and the washi tape was uh, the most time consuming on this, but it was actually a very relaxing, enjoyable project. And I just, I just had fun with this one. I mean, this was just total paper play time. And I'm making something useful that can be used um, to um, 
you know, add something extra to a journal or maybe you want to put, you know, birthday cards or gift cards or, you know, who knows what you want to put in here. Uh, you know, it, it's your imagination and just, just run wild with it. Okay, so we got all that. Come over here. Okay. So now we're going to the next one on the inside. You want to do the back. You don't have to do these, but um, just showing you the way I did it. And then I'm going to do the next one. And I did do the tops of these. So every flap got its back done. And this is called distressing. And it's to make it look weathered or de-stressed. What's the difference between stressed and de-stressed? I'm not quite sure. I mean, stressed is, I guess, what a person feels. <laughs> uh, de-stressed is maybe a um, worn uh, object. I don't know. Is that the difference? Um, okay, just ink those up a little bit. And then going into the second layer. I'm not going to... Am I going to do these? Maybe. Yeah, let's let's tuck those in there quick. And then we can do a... Whoop, whoop. There we go. Just getting the edges fast. Back over here. This is called cheater ink. I call it cheater inking. As opposed to doing the fuss fuss all the way around, you just sort of run it fast. Two, 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 two. There we go. And you still get a nice uh, definition there. And this guy who's looking all whistle clean, well, we're going to fix that. All right, anchors, anchors. And I'm using a vintage photo today. Did I say that? Vintage photo. Because I had my little, whoop, sorry. Excuse me. Had my little re-anchor close by, so I uh, reloaded my ink pad. I just covered the entire top of the ink pad with it. It's a dropper if you've never seen one of these, and uh, it just resaturates in case you're getting a little dry. And I was getting a little dry. You know what I mean? It was a little parched around here. Um, did I get all the flappers? Did I get all the flappers? I got that flapper. All right, let's go here, and then let's do this one. Okay. Now I'm gonna do the back of this one. the back of this one okay so did I do your front nope there are lots of flaps in this so that's the one thing about it you're, you're, you got a lot of flaps to play with and um, you could keep or remove the flaps and just use the pockets totally up to you but I like the idea of the flaps because they keep the stuff inside okay this is called super fast inking that's right Okay, did I do that one? Yep, yeah, didn't do that one side. Okay. Get in there. Whoop, whoop. Okay, can you see? Am I showing you? Or my, my fingers are all in the way, right? <laughs> so I hope you're having lots of fun. Um, uh, always something new to explore with the papers. We are never at a loss. I've got some great ideas coming your way, guys. I just, uh, I finally got the ingredients together. It wasn't that hard to get, but maybe with the building... The building short, like the, you know how it's hard to find wood and stuff like that? I was looking for some really basic supplies and uh, I had a hard time finding them because stuff is not on the shelves. I actually went into the stores. Okay, I'm going to do the back. Okay, and this way I'm just knocking back some of the white. You don't have to. Well, white is a nice contrast and, and that's perfectly fine, but I just think it lends a little bit of, a, I don't know, Victorian era feel to this little little guy which um, I love that era. I love that time period and all the magical things that, I don't know, I, I imagine in my head that went on. It was probably probably pretty rough life um, for most. Um, you know, electricity wasn't that common and, you know, the conveniences of today were not that common. Okay, let's just do a quick check. Checking, good, good, check, check, check. Yep. Checking, checking, good, not bad. A little more over here. There we go. And check the backs. And we can always amp it up at the end if we want more inking on the end. So there you go. There the inking part is uh, completed for that, at least up till now. And let's see what we did next. Okay, so next I, I uh, loaded the pocket. So let me just grab some what I have here. And I'm just going to start. I'm just going to tuck them in. Uh, okay, let's see. We have... We have some florals, that's pretty. And these are of no particular order. 
just going to for space holders so you can kind of get an idea of um, what you can do with these um, and you can get quite a bit in there you can probably easily get mm, like three or four things in one um, pocket area now I did go ahead and ink around the ones that I put in here just because I thought it looked um, pretty uh, but you don't have to do that. You could actually leave that up to the person, you know, because maybe they don't want to ink it. You know, there's always that possibility. All right. Okie dokie, pokey smoky. What else have I got here? I got a bunch, got a bunch. Okay, let me move my stuff. All righty. There we go. And here's some in the back. Tucking those in. One, two... They're upside down. Three. They could follow themes. Let's say if you're giving somebody a themed journal. Did I say that? I don't remember. I may have said that on another video. <laughs> I can't remember anymore. Oh, boy. Um, oh, here, this guy's pretty. We'll put, he's a big guy. We'll put him in here. There you go. And who are you? We have some more birds. And some snow skaters. We'll tuck you in here. Da, 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 da. Why do I always sing that song? I have no idea. Um, <laughs> it's a crazy life. We have crazy. Okay, that's a nice bird. I like that. Okay. And then we have the last one, which I'll just grab. Okay, maybe I've got some. I've got some stamps. See, I do. I have some stamps. And you could even put scraps. How about scrap paper? You know, I mean, that's kind of something that's fun for people to play with. Um, don't we know it? Don't we know it? So I'm going to put scraps, digi kit, and stamps in the last one for the big hoop loss prize. There you go. So as you can see, you can get quite a bit in here. You probably want to test and make sure now that it's loaded that, um, number one, you've got the, the, the folds in the right place. And you've got your inking to your satisfaction. So now we have that. Okay, so let's test our fold. Very good. All right, where'd prototype go? Isn't that funny? You just make something. I totally forget how you made it. Okay, so next what I did was I decorated each flap on the inside. I used um, some Edith Holden text. I used an old stamp and I used a, a digi kit. Digi kit, digi kit. And this is a stamp out, uh, a, a punch out from... Uh, punched paper. So let me grab my punched paper thing. Shapes. That's some, Oh, this is kind of cool. Okay. So this is like random stuff. You know what I mean? Like random stuff. So those, those are great opportunities to, to do stuff. Like even if you make stuff like this, that's a cute thing to tuck in there. Like just, just tuck that in there. There you go. Okay. Um, okay. So I have these cool stickers. Aren't these cool? I, I don't know. This came from a a grab bag somewhere but I love these I just love them and uh, I think that would look very cool there so let me ink it up a little a little vintage photo just to just a weathering of it all okay there you go there okay that's good scotch create glue stick permanent glue stick um, my favorite glue not sponsored by any of these companies I just really like this stuff and I want you guys to know what I really use and uh that's what i really use okay okay there we go oh you know i really use it because you see me use it so i guess that's kind of oh, like i put it on straight pan okay now you could put a word in there if you want to maybe i'll do that we'll, we'll just uh what's this happy in your skin will you fit not really we're just happy yeah that'll work okay this is something i printed out a long time ago this might be a, one of my word digis. I can't remember, um, but if it is, I'll, I'll link it. Um, but you can you can tear a word out of a book. Um, you can type some words on your computer and print them out. That's a great thing to do, especially words that you like to use a lot. Let's say you're a nature lover and you want to put some nature words in there. Okay, so um, next flap. Um, these are my word ones. So this. Whoa! Wait, I see some butterflies. Let me get some butterflies going here. Yeah, I'm liking the butterflies. Okay, so let's put some butterflies on this one. Okay. All right, do we want to ink you? Drag you through the ink a little bit. I'm dragging through the ink like that, just to give it a little edging. Yeah. Okay, and where's my, my glue? It's good, just like a random butterfly motion here. Nobody knows what's going on. That's right, it's all, we're all over the place. Are having fun. Um, 
make sure you get your dose of fun today. It is like a vitamin, very important. Uh, very important for the brain, um, the outlook, the quality of life in general. Oh, there. Okay, maybe we need some overlapping butterflies. That's what you mean. need you to come in. Yeah, you, you're the one with the text on it. So if you have um, some papers and, and or old book pages, you can uh, punch out little cutie things out of them. They make adorable embellishments for your junk journal. And then you just pop them in there anytime you're ready. You'll be like three, you know, three weeks, seven months later. You never know. Okay, there. That's the perfect spot. Okay, a cluster of butterflies on that one. Um, so this is where you can kind of let your imagination run wild. You can put whatever you like there. I have a col Where are you? Oh, there. Where are you? Here you are. This is my collection of uh, different shapes. So that's that. So let's look for something. I, I like to surprise people so they never know what's coming. Oh, there's a little owl. He is so cute. Oh, if I can get him out. If I can just pick him up. Try and try and without killing him. I made him. I gave him eyes. He's really tiny, but he is extra cute. Oh, he's got a friend. Look, I found his upside down friend. All right, let's just uh, use them both. We'll use them both. <laughs> his upside down friend. Oh, yeah, that's the way it goes. All right, here we go. We'll put one little owl and we'll put his little upside down friend because that would be kind of fun. Yeah. There we go. There, his little upside down friend. Adorable, right? Yes, totally surprised. None of you were expecting that. So we've one, two, three done. Okay, now we're going to do this side. And let's see what we want to do. I'm ferreting. You're kind of big, aren't you? Yeah, maybe a little bit. All right. Still ferreting. Hang on. Anyone want to see the ferret? Okay, here's the ferret. Oh, here's a little bird. He's cute. Now, he would he would be good. But I would like to maybe color him up a little bit. Let's see if we can get some pink on him. Here is my worn lipstick. So there's a little pink here. And that's kind of the same pink. That's kind of cool, isn't it? So let, let's just try. Let's like dip him in come here come here little birdie let's see if we can get him to be pink will you be pink all right i think i'm going to be pink before he is pink okay let's see what we got he's like sort of pink if i put a little water on him, i'm sure it'll be really pink let's we'll see what happens if i wet him a little just a little oh, oh, okay that's enough water uh-huh because this stuff this stuff moves with water yeah that's a little better oh, i got his little tail Go on there, little tail. Come on. Okay. There we go. All right. Let's glue him now. I'll be very careful because he's wet. You don't want to lose a wing or a beak. Oh, careful, Pam. Watch those feet. Those little baby feet. I'm trying. Okay. Here we go. And you're down. There we go. Cute, huh? Okay. Next. Who have we got? Like I said, this is just the fun stuff. You're goofing around. Playing. Playing with your goodies. Um, I'm digging, I'm back over here digging. Oh, this is kind of cool. I have a, um, an old, this is supposed to look like a Rolodex card. It came from a punch. I could use the, the beige. I could use that color. Hmm. Cover my pink. Maybe. I'll use this color. I'll just be bold and use this color. I'll ink it up a little bit so it stands out a little bit more. I'm going to put that there. So really, I mean, if you've got a couple of punches or you're just using your scissors to create little shapes, you can make all sorts of fun little adornments. And your adornments could relate to what's in the pocket if you thought it through that fast, uh, far, I didn't. Um, but that's also an option. Oh, here's a little sticker. We could put a little sticker there. That might be cute. All right, let's ink up the sticker so it pops. All right. Well, stickers are easy, right? Yep. Say that until you try and get them apart. Okay. I think this one's going to be easy. It's a thicker sticker. Thicker sticker. Yeah. Okay. There. Little girl uh, laying down on something. That's very cute. Okay. So now we have all, whoops, now we have all three flaps. I just cleaned my desk and there's absolutely no room on it. Absolutely no room. Oh, I'm going to show you something cool at the end. Don't forget. Um, I, I pulled it out, so I wanted to show you. I'll probably forget. Um, I'm going to try not to forget. Where's Sunny? Nowhere. Nowhere to be seen. Oh, Dad's home. You know what Dad took him? Dad took him to Best Buy. Yeah, didn't go inside. No, it was curbside pickup, but um, they went to Best Buy. 
<laughs> did he do all right? Okay. Okay, so the next thing I did was I grabbed some washi tape and I did some uh, decorating of the edges. And so I'll show you how that is. I don't know if about you, but I seriously need to use up some of my washi tape. So this was an easy way just to blast through a bunch of it all at once. And um, this, I, I would say, because I just kept washi taping and washi taping because I like the look of it. Um, so this um, was probably... I don't know. It was actually kind of relaxing and zen. Like I, I did like doing it, and I also felt good. I was finally using some washi tape up. Are you, are you of the clan that went out and bought tons of washi tape? Are you like sans washi tape, and or you don't even know what washi tape is? And what what are you strange people talking about? It could it could be that, and that's fine. Washi tape is like decorated masking tape. It's not super sticky. Um, Sometimes you have to put extra glue down, like run it across a glue stick or something to really get it to stick. And I would, I would, um, you can do that to give it a little extra oomph. Um, but it can be really a fun way to add, to like spruce up some edges, give yourself little borders, uh, little sticker-like things. Okay, like look at that, look at the difference. That, that, boom, boom, there you go. Um, so it's very easy to do. And, oops. Oh, okay, what time are we at? Okay. All right, there we go. There we go. That's how it's all happening today. Okay. Sometimes you can tear it, uh, but sometimes it twists, so you have to cut it. So sometimes it's user-friendly, and sometimes it's a little fuddle-duddle, um, but not bad. You know, not bad overall for a uh, craft um, thing to play with. It actually has a lot of uses. Okay. I think we're having chicken and salad tonight. Yeah. Papa barbecued up a bunch of chicken the other day and we've just been kind of nibbling on it all week. Uh, it's kind of like cook on mass and then eat all week from, you know, the same pot, not all week. Okay, who are we kidding? But, um, you know, similar. Okay, so now for the other ones, whoop, what's all that? Um, I, I just did the tops. I didn't I didn't go in here and do the deep part. I just did this because I thought that that was enough. So let's just go ahead and do that. All right. It goes pretty, pretty quickly. Hi. Hi, Snuffers. Snuffers came back to say hello. Also known as uh, Sunshine, my little Maltese. Uh, welcome to everybody who's new. Uh, oh, if you if you don't know, I've got a uh, 80,000 subscriber giveaway contest going on. And thank you very much. Uh, thank you to all of you. Because if it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't be at 80,000. I'm just some woman glue and paper. And um, uh, thank you very much for hanging out and watching. And, um, you know, make sure you watch all those other YouTubers out there too, because uh, they've got amazing ideas. And it's good to learn from multiple people. I, I strongly encourage that in life because you're going to learn a little bit something different from everyone. And I've learned so much from so many people and I'm, I'm forever grateful um, uh, for all the, uh, the little uh, gems that they have shared along the way. So, um, but yeah, uh, it, go ahead. I put a link, I'm going to put a link down below. The, um, the uh, contest is running through August 1st. So August 1st, I will do the drawing. Um, it will be that little automatic draw drawer thing. So I think the question, you got to do two things. You got to like, like, subscribe, and then place a comment that just, uh, um, I think the question is, um, what would you like to see me do a video on? And uh, it's fine just to say, just do what you're doing, or it's fine to say, hey, I got a great idea. I'd love to see you do this. Um, and that way I get to know you guys a little bit better. And it's, um, um, kind of fun that way. It becomes a little more um, interactive and we can all get to know each other a little bit more and uh, have some fun with it that way. And there's a cool prize. I mean, I, I, I hope you like it. It's a fundle or an ephemera collection, which is a, a gathering of um, uh, actual old vintage antique and fun papers to play with in a junk journal over 100 pieces. And um, also a, a, a journal that I made online in one of my videos. It was the full page journal. And um, 
I think that that was uh, a lot of uh, that was a lot of fun to do, and I really I want to make more of those because it's so handy to have a full page in a journal as opposed to always having to fold the pages. You know what I mean? So I I heard there was a need because you guys let me know. Like you actually asked how how can I make it without folding the page? I want a whole eight and a half by eleven page to work on. Maybe I'm writing a, a story and I want I want more elbow room. Don't cheat me of my elbow room. And uh, so that's how that came out. So that's kind of how this question came about with the 80,000 subscriber contest. I thought, oh, you guys have good ideas. And um, why not? Let's let's uh, see what we can come up with. And there you go. All right. Get on there. All right. Almost done. And the last one's going to fuss with me. All right. Still good. Oh, the little trip. If, uh, trip. The little t tip, if you don't know of this, if your washi doesn't seem sticky or it seems overly sticky for some reason, you can't get it apart. It just tears. Stick it in your microwave for very short bursts, like start with a couple seconds and then just um, check it. And then you'll find that magically the glue will soften at some point and then it will work almost like regular brand new washi tape. So um, don't throw away your old washi tape right away. Give it, give it that one shot um, in the microwave, just a short bursts, double check because you got to try according to your own microwave. Everybody's is a little different. Um, so it's like, that's like a cool, isn't it? It's just like very dressy and fancy now. Oh, we're not done yet. Okay. Um, so yeah. And, um, if, uh, uh, if you haven't signed up for the free monthly emailed newsletter, you do get a free digital image as well as a note from the bookmaker, which explains, um, there's a link to it, a note from the bookmaker that explains what a junk journal is. And you're welcome to um, change it, morph it, make it uh, your own. Uh, and I put it there in uh, Word doc in PDF format so you could play with it. And what else, what else? Um, doon to doon. Um, bum, 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 I forgot a piece. Well, let's see if I can fudge that. Yeah, not bad. Okay. And uh, what else? Um, I've got a podcast that comes out uh, um, two days a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays, and it's all new material, different than the uh, videos. It's all about paper crafting, life of a crafter, making junk journals, tips and tricks, anything related to this kind of stuff and um, uh, life of a crafter, answering questions. That's a great thing. If you've ad asked a question, you don't see your answer, check out the uh, Q&A uh, podcast because the answer to your question might just be in there. Um, okay, there we go. Oh, we got to do these. Okay, look, double checking, double checking. What's the, okay, there we go. Yep, I did do those. Let's do those. And, um, okay. So as I'm, I'm just like rant, you know me, my, my rant at the end. Um, this is mostly for new people, but, um, you know, thank you um, for everybody who uh, comes out and hangs out with me. Um, there are more fundals. I've restocked my fundals in my Etsy shop. So if you're interested in some of those fundals, just go out and check it out. And if you get, if you happen to come by and you see the fundals section or the, I changed the title of it. It's now called fundals slash ephemera collection or something close to that. So you could figure out what on earth I'm talking about and not get it confused with other stuff. Um, so the fundals are real hard copy things that I mail out to you, whereas the digi kits are you download them at home and then you print them out on your computer. So that's the difference. Um, and also what the actual item is, they're, they're different. But um, yeah, we're well, getting up there. Okay, um, got some good ideas for August. Digi kits coming out and July digi kits are available right now and they're eternally available. And once you buy them on Etsy, you always own them. You never lose them. Just know that. And you can always re-download them as many times as you want. You can download them and save them to your computer. So for easy printing, stuff like that. Okay. So basically there is our little situation. Um, now I think, oh, he actually looks kind of pretty like that. I'm not going to mess with him, but he does, I think need a little bit more of this. And now we're just fine tuning. Like this is where we, what I call it the fun part. Um, I don't know. It's hard to describe it, but this is where you kind of amp it up and make it your own. You know, okay. What else did I do? Everything else looks the same. Okay. We did some of those little round stamps. Okay. So I have this little round stamp. I'm just going to stamp that on the outside here. There we go. That's a good one. Okay. Not really on a flat surface. 
probably not stamping right, but going for it anyway. Okay, and you could put stickers there, you could put nothing there, you could put words there, you could put numbers there. Totally all sorts of ideas. Oh, the colors I used today, so I used black soot. Did I use black soot? I don't know if I did. Black soot, vintage photo, and worn lipstick are the colors that I used. All right, so now that folds like that. And what did I do to the front? I did something. I did something. Aha! Uh -huh. I put a picture, a word, and a piece of light, and more trim. And I did trim around the back too. So okay, get to work, Sally Sue. Okay, here we go. Who moved the washi tape? There it is. Oh, I'm so excited! I'm almost going to be uh, completing a roll of washi tape. Wish that never happens. Okay, here we go. There we are. Um, yeah, so uh, weather has calmed down. Everything's, I would say, I, it's not cool as a cucumber. It's more like hot as a hothouse cucumber here right now. I hope you're comfy wherever you are, and I'm hope hoping everything is going smooth for you guys as it, as it, uh, you know, let's just have some normal days, you know, just normal for a while. Not normal. Remember when life was normal? How long ago was that? Boy, everything's weird. <laughs> you ever notice that? Everything just went weird. I had this nice discussion with uh oh i guess i can tell you about this i went uh, to um first i went to walmart to buy regular elmer's glue and i wanted to get a big one uh because i you know go through stuff a lot so i figured buy it in uh the big size and the only thing they had was the kids back to school washable glue and i didn't want that i wanted the real elmer's glue that I don't know. It's not washable. I just feel like it's all going to disappear, or go away, or something. If it's if it's the kid glue, there is a difference between the kid glue and the regular Elmer's glue. And I believe the regular Elmer's glue is called Glue All. It's a little stronger, and um, I don't think it. I don't know. Anyway, I, that's what I wanted. And except a project coming up, I want to show you guys. I got I to gotta do it first, though. But so I went to Walmart and they had none. And I'm like, you got to be kidding. Okay, so maybe it's just a fluke, right? All right, so I, I happened to be going to Home Depot, went to Home Depot, and they had one tiny little small one, but I needed more than that. And I really thought that Home Depot would carry carry more than that. Okay, next I put some lace on it. Let's see if I have enough lace. Yep, I think I do. And um, um, so yeah, I'm thinking they're going to have the big gallon things, right? And I know, I know I can order it online and all that stuff. But I was out and I thought, you know, let me go. I, I need to get out of the house, get stretched the legs. Don't always want to be inside. Get some fresh air, go around, see where the people are and stuff like that. Be out with humans again. That's kind of nice, right? And um, uh, so I go marching in there and I found this nice old gentleman who's helping me. And I'm like, I'm, I'm here for some a big gallon of Elmer's glue, please. Just the regular stuff, not the school stuff. And I'm, I'm absolutely sure he's going to, oh, I know exactly what it is. Well, after a while, we finally found the glue section and uh, they had none. Or they had a really small bottle and uh, wrong glue. And, uh, okay. And um, so I'm like, huh, okay, well, that's kind of odd. So... I go to Hobby Lobby and I'm like, Hobby Lobby, that's the motherland of uh, Elmer's glue, right? If, if Hobby Lobby doesn't have Elmer's glue in the gallon jug, then nobody does. And uh, so I go in there and no glue all, Elmer's glue, glue all in the, uh, the jug. And I'm thinking, hmm, it must have something to do with, I don't know, construction right now because um, there's another thing, but I can't tell you what it is right now because I give away what I'm going to make. But uh, I was looking for it in Home Depot and they were out of it and Walmart was out of it and and uh, actually I did find one big container which is way more than I need of this other magic stuff which I will slowly reveal to you but uh, it just seemed to me like where did all this stuff go maybe it's taken a long time to come from China maybe they get a lot of stuff from China or maybe because of the building boom everything is being used up and, and the builders are buying everything in bulk that could be that could very well be okay so should I cut that can you see? Okay. So I, this is just like the fancy foo-foo stuff. You could decorate this any way you like. Use any color for the way you like. Um, but this, I just wanted you to see the way, exactly the way I made it. And um, fold, fold, go together. I put a picture on the front, so let's put a picture on the front. Find yourself a picture, Missy. Okay. Okay. I'll find a picture. Looking, looking. Almost got one. Oh, here's a pretty one. All right. Oh, don't tear. Oh, way to go, Pam. You tore the picture. Um, so, yeah, I um, printed out some of my digi kits on some calendar paper. And I just, I love that look. I don't know. I just, I love the look. 
I think it's so pretty. Okay, so let's check out some of these guys and maybe we can use them on the front of this one. Okay. Now you could give this as a little clue as to what's inside or purely use it as a um, decoration. Okay, so are you gonna fit? I'm gonna get this little sliver off here. And we are rounding the mountain. We are so close to completing this. Okay, so let's glue you down. All right, I think I glued it with glue stick last time, but this just happens to be right here, as is the glue stick, but this was just closer. Sometimes you gotta go, oh, I, I wanna ink it. Oh, oh, I think I inked it in black. This is my cross-pollinated broken paddle brush blender. It's a makeup sponge, I think, originally. And um, you can get these everywhere now, but um, uh, they're great for uh, putting ink on or working with stencils and ink. Okay, so I got that guy there. Okay, get them all down. Everybody go in their happy place. And then, uh, big finale here. I grabbed a, whoop, let me show this. It's a Stabilo pencil. Can you get this on? There, that's what it is, an 8045 Aquarelle Stabilo pencil. It's basically like a, it's like a watercolor. It's it's like a pencil that dissolves in water. Yeah. So I, I, I'm going to use my little squirt here. Squirt. Okay. And what it does is it makes, it makes the water, it makes the, uh, the graphite blend like whoosh, it kind of explodes into different directions. And I like those little marks of color and stuff that get on here. You like see that little blue bird right there? I like that. It's just kind of cool. Um, okay. So we have that. And what else did I do? What else? What else? Where is it? Oh, I took one of, uh, um, these, it's a jelly roll. It's a, oh, I want to say it's kind of some kind of sparkly jelly roll, but when you, I don't know if you can see this, but can you see, can you see the sparkly? I can't, I can't see with my can't see with and without my eyes but anyway I, I went around the, the butterflies and I just quickly outlined them in the sparkle stuff giving an extra little dimension which I think is a lot of fun and you can do their little antenna and you don't have to be a grand artist you just sort of literally you wing it you wing it get that <laughs> all right and then I put a word I don't know if I have room for that word here because mm, I think I squeezed myself out of space so I think I'm gonna grab a shorter word how about dream there we go dreams a little shorter we can take that and maybe we'll put this one you don't always have to be straight you can go on an angle in life there we go okay there we go so there and um i you can put a closure on it you can wrap it with a elastic cord or put a paper clip or something like that on here but i think they stay closed together pretty nicely and did i, said, did I do anything oh i underlined i underlined the letters just to give it a little extra accent so there you go folks i hope you have fun wait 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 don't go anywhere i want to show you the cool thing okay there's our project that's what it looks like on the inside and we have all these fun little flaps to play with how cool is that okay let's carry on let's carry on i want to show you the thing I know you got to run. I know you got stuff to do. Okay. Okay. So I want to show you this. I don't know if I've ever shown you this. Let me back up. Okay. Let me move everything so I can actually show you. This is an old ledger that I bought. It's a very old. Um, let me, I want to show you the one. Okay. <clears throat> so these pages, can you see this? Let me just show you. Okay. They're from 1840 so this is a very old book but it's not the ledger that i actually want to show you it's what else they did with it and i don't know when this was done with it back you up a little bit um but this was very commonplace in these old ledgers people would come along and they would glue pieces of newspaper or not just maybe just pop them in here at least if i find a date on anything i want to find out if they did this at, obviously it had to be sometime after the original the original one was done no, oh, January 23rd, but no date, darg nabbit. All right, well, that's, I'll, I'll figure it out. Maybe I'll find a date on something. But see, they found a pretty picture um, from a newspaper, and they put it in here. And you, you just have to imagine, like, back in the 1840s or not that far after, how, number one, how important paper was because they didn't waste anything. You can see, can you see? Let me show you. You can... Uh, see the actual ledger behind the newspaper pieces so maybe 
you know, they when they were done with the ledger, um, they gave it to their kid and the kid um, saved something. Although I, I tend to feel like this may have been done by a woman like um, tired mothers, autumn, the old man goes to the fair. I mean, it doesn't quite seem like a child. Oh, let me sing tonight, mother. I mean, it, um, it seems I, don't, I just have a feeling it might have been a woman. Um, or, you know, maybe the teenage daughter or something like that. You never know. But this was their way of, imagine how important news was. I mean, maybe you didn't get a newspaper every day. So um, whatever the stories that are in here, they meant something to somebody. This one is Raymond's pride. This one is Ruth's stepfather. And I don't know if these are um, uh, stories or their actual news articles or what, but there's something that came printed. And there's a lot of them. The Beautiful Dead. Uh... The dying girl, the empty place. If I could, if if I could keep her so, <laughs> yeah. Uh, we are growing old, you know. The mariner's dirge, um, schoolmaster around loose. Oh, that's interesting. Um, baby, uh, you know, um, love love's fairy ring. So poetry, um, you know. Who knows where this stuff came from? But it was important for them to save this. Why? Did they want to reflect back? Did they tell these stories to somebody else? I don't know. I don't know. But I, I, does anybody know anything about this? I would love to learn more. And, and this is not just this journal specific, This ha or this um, ledger specific. This happens in a lot of ledgers that I've come across. And uh, it's something that's it's almost like a scrapbook, but it's, it tends to be newspaper clippings. My dog is snoring again. Sonny, you want to say something? Let me go bug him. Hold on. Okay. Yes, yes, Sonny would like to say a few words. I would like to say... Oop, there we go. I would like to say I went to Best Buy and we got a DVD player. Who buys a DVD player today? Nobody. Nobody. Dad, what are you doing? It's so, so old school. I thought he was going to come out with an 8-track set, but it was only curbside pickup. Okay. Take care, everybody. Love you. Bye. <laughs> yeah we have strange happenings around here and we try not to you know wonder too much about anything uh so yeah dad bought a dvd player there you go um hey who am i complaining about old stuff no that would be silly the visit of an angel i mean i don't i don't know i don't know they all do like poems stories a daily lesson nothing but leaves a mother's lament okay here we have some political stuff can you give me a date on any of this? Nothing, nothing. Boys' rights. Okay, there's some uh, journal. Beautiful, beautiful old script. Just, uh, just love that. The calligraphy. They were so good at that back then. Like canvas with two S's. Is that the way they spelt it back then? Or is it just a uh, spelling mistake? Um, I don't think this person had bad spelling. So I'm wondering, they may have just spelt it like that back then. A lot of things were spelt differently back then. And... Uh, um, my um, sad claim to not fame was uh, growing up in Canada, we have um, a lot of um, old English influence and there was a spelling bee in school and I spelt jewelry, J-E-W-E-L-L-E-R-Y, which was the, the old English way of spelling it. And I was considered wrong because they wanted me to say J-E-W-E-L-R-Y and I did not win the spelling bee because of that. And let's just say I was not happy. <laughs> um, yeah, that even looks like 1820 something. Oh, can you see that? 1820. So oh, no, that's a four. That's a four. Okay. But yeah, not a darn date. Oh, oh, oh my God, I found a date. Okay, here we go. Here it is. I found it finally. I'm going to take you in. I'm taking you in. Do, do, do. 1866. So the ledger was 1840s and then. 20 years later, somebody came along and got stuff, at least from 1866. I finally got a date. Thank you. Thank you. There you go, folks. So that's the little surprise of today. Just these old newspaper things that are found in um, old ledgers. And if anybody knows the history of why that was done or the purpose, I would love to know about it. Um, so take care, everybody. Um, happy crafting. Remember that fun can be simple. And create with reckless abandon. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. I'm going to clean my desk now.